In less than 24 hours, there have been two shootings in the city of Roanoke. And they mark number 33 and 34 since January 1st. After weeks of asking the police department for answers, we are now hearing from Chief Sam Roman about the significant increase. In a 10 News exclusive, 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us what he says his team is doing to make a change. Obviously, it's very disturbing when you have uh, several of these incidents, uh, not to mention just one of them is disturbing enough. Roanoke Police Chief Sam Roman and his officers have a long road ahead of them. More than 30 shootings since the first of the year, and solving the large majority of them will not be easy. In some of the very recent uh, acts of gun violence that we've seen, you know, it's been difficult to try to uh, solicit and retrieve that information to uh, people who know information about the incidents. Gun violence is on the rise across the country and right here in Roanoke. Upward trends are nothing new, but what is new is the fact that shooters are growing more brazen and teenagers are in the middle of it. We have to do proactive work to prevent younger people who are falling into that at risk category for later on. And then there's present day work in which we have to do, which focusing, which is focusing all of our efforts and attention on those who decide to commit uh, violence, specific emphasis on gun violence here in our community. Many in the community are growing fed up with blue lights and yellow tape in their neighborhoods, asking how leaders will fix the problem. But Roman says if everyone in the city doesn't get on the same page, nothing will change. And no one entity could do it alone. You know, uh, law enforcement has to have the support of its community. The community has to have the support of its courts, and judges, legislators, all of that work together in the ecosystem of solving this problem. And unless all of uh, those entities that I mentioned come together and work in the same direction, uh, I'm afraid it's going to be a fruitful point. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.